Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've seen all four cases of how to find the angle in different circumstances, it's probably a good idea to put it all together on one board. And so that's what we've done here, a summary of the four different situations. We can have the angle with the point at the center of the circle. We can have an angle with the point on the edge of the circle. We can have an angle with the point outside the circle, or we can have an angle with the point inside the circle but not at the center or at the edge of the circle. So in the first case it's fairly straightforward. The measure of the angle here, C, is equal to the measure of the arc that's been intersected. And so therefore if the arc has an angle of 60 degrees then that is also the measure of the angle. It's also 60 degrees. Pretty straightforward. And if we put the the point of the, of the angle at the edge of the circle, and here we have the intersected arc. Notice that the size is the same, but now we put the point over here. Then the measure of the angle is half the measure of the arc that's in, intersected, and so therefore half of 60 degrees is 30 degrees. What if we put the point outside the circle? Then the measure of the angle of outside the circle is equal to one half times the difference between the measure of the arc that's intersected on the far side of the circle minus the measure of the arc that's intersected on the close side of the, circuit, of the circle. And so therefore it's one half times 60 minus 20, one half times 40 or 20 degrees. And then finally if we put the, the point of the circle or the, the point of the, of the uh, angles inside the circle but not at the center, then the measure of the angle, either angle 1 or angle 2, is equal to one half times the sum of the measure of the intersected arc on one side plus the measure of the intersected arc on the other side. So in this case if it's 60 and 20 degrees we add them together take one half and you get 40 degrees. So here's the four different ways in which you can determine the angle by understanding where the point of the angle is located and that is how it's done.